Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 building tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect stairs into curved foundation. This is a big deal for a long time and I have found three ways to do so without the use of CC. So enjoy the video and without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay everyone, so we're gonna start off with the first one of the three types that I'm gonna show you. The first one is the most basic one, this is a base game, well all the three kind of base game uh, uh, um, related, but the first one you don't need to have anything other than the items that I'm gonna use, uh, which are from the base game. You don't need to have any mods, any CC, anything, anything at all. Yes, you can perfect these two other uh, types that I'm gonna show you, you can perfect them using the tool mod. But the first one, you don't need to have anything. So let's start off with the first uh, uh, method. Now, how many times you created a beautiful home just like this one? You created a half spheral or, or a half rounded uh, a balcony and you placed the stairs and they never touch and connected to the rounded walls. Like you want to have something like this, but it's not possible. So let's start off with and I do recommend for you, not recommend, this is a must. You need to have all three cheat codes that are right now on the screen, the BB move objects, the hidden objects, and the live edited objects, all three together activated for you uh, and us to start. Once you have them, what you want to do is to grab yourself a uh, stairs, and I do recommend to start with the modern floating stairway, and then after time, after you're creating more than one time and you practice, uh, you, and you practice this method, you can go and try other types of stairs. It will work perfectly with this. So once you have them, grab yourself a one wide uh, stairs, place it in the middle, and this is gonna be your indicator, okay? Now go to the search bar after, of course, you, you activated the code and type debug. Great. Let's scroll down, and especially now I'm not doing it fast, I want you to find exactly where it is. Scroll down to Wood Plank Gen 01. It is near a some sort of a pen and a meter, I guess, tape measurement or something, I don't care. Take the Wood Plank Gen 1 and place it. We're gonna use that a lot, okay? So I created myself a small room here and I'll bring it over here. Small room full with them, so it will be much easier for me to work. Okay, so you know what? I'll bring it over here. Perfect. Now, once I have it and I have the move object cheat code activated, I can grab one, upscale it using the bracket, the right bracket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe some of them we will even need to go nine. Now, this is important. Use the Alt key to move it freely and place it when the edges here, you can see, the edges of the plank are uh, perfectly in line with the rounded walls, just like this, okay? Almost shoving into it, okay? Just like that. Now, uh, you can, of course, put it inside even a bit more. Now, uh, take another plank and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, uh, sometimes you will need to go to 9. Let's check it out. We want to bring this one above the second one here and to cover the next step. Sometimes it will not work perfectly unless you upscale it one more. So let's use the 9 and 0, 9 to uh, and bring it up a bit. 1, 2, you see it's not covering the step yet. 3. Now it's covering, but if you'll notice, there is a small, small gap here, not perfect, so we need to upscale it one more. This is nine times upscaled, and then put it, uh, bring it back one time. Then we can place it using the Alt key and try to give it a real design of the, um, like, a, a real measures between one step to the other. You see the, the uh, differences between them? It looks okay. The third one will really affect it. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, uh, as far as I know and my tests, every time you use eight and then nine, the next one will be eight again. It's, it's gonna be like a sandwich. Like eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, and, and go on and go on. But sometimes it won't. 
it really depends on the height that you are uh, using okay do it again over here and this is important because right now um, you are gonna start encountering the more the more you go up sometimes you are gonna need to um, uh, uh, use the alt key really really smoothly because it will try to snap to the upper area so make sure you you are like mastering it uh, really really good before you are starting to create s other designs of this uh, with this method okay so we are at 8 let's upscale it once again because it was um, 8 before right so yeah so let's bring it up and cover the um, the step perfect look at this okay now let's take another one and one two three four five six seven eight nine because the previous one was eight and it, as you can see it's now starting to snap so we need to work with it a bit more let's see if it's fitting or we can go one smaller by size to eight um, is it working it is okay so now let's move this one a bit back you see those are small touches until it will be perfect um, of course in your uh, in your vision okay in the last one let's bring it up um, we need to go with nine here and go one down and shove it perfect look at this now the last one uh, sometimes you need to put it up here it will look weird but let's try and fit it still um, again pick it up this one is not big like the other ones it's smaller let's see if we can uh, work with it perfectly more not too much maybe I'll take it smaller one those are really really small touches here see what I see what I see you see what I do okay come on there we go okay and as I said you see the, the last uh, the last um, step is kind of visible and that's why you want to pick a color for the uh, for the steps that is kind of almost like <laughs> the uh, the last um, the last step of the foundation okay and and this is the tricky part so if you are creating white one it's gonna be a problem although I have a way to create a white stairs and this is the third tutorial the second one is gonna be how to create more like this one a modernized one and just before we going through that I just want to show you that this is fully functioning stairs look at that it going up is that crazy is that game changing or what okay so let's go to the second tutorial okay so the second tutorial we actually starting with the same process as the previous one and we're starting from the same spot just like here and uh what we're gonna need to do here is to basically take the plank that we used to uh, uh that you used in the previous uh, tutorial and we're gonna upscale it one two three um, yeah three is gonna be okay and we then try to eyeball it like this on each of the steps okay one two three and one two try to make them perfectly in line with each other so they will not like glitch uh, glitch one into each other now the more you go higher uh, it, you will encounter some glitchy areas so uh, one two three same method basically like the previous one but here we are not upscaling it much and um, we are going for a more modernized steps now I'm gonna show you how to create white stairs uh, and it, it will blow your mind but as you can see it, it is taking shape this is the same method and I will fast forward it and to the end of this process to show you how you perfect it using the tool mod Take 
Okay, so this is how it looks after you finish the whole process. But as you can see, the gaps are not uh, equal. And it, it, it makes it look a bit weird, a bit like a mistake. And this is where the tool mod is going in hand. Now, hear me out before you jump in the game and go into the tool mod and know what you're doing, because this is very, very tricky. Because if you'll try, you see the gap here between those two. I want to elevate, not really elevate, but lower it, this part, a bit down. But if I'll do it, of course, let's go to um, Sims mod. And if I'll do the tool mod, then elevate and just press minus one, it just vanished. It goes down so much that we cannot really see it. But I needed to go really, really small, small amount, like small minimalistic inches, if that's even a term, okay? So we're gonna do an undo here, option undo. And we go to elevate again, minus, and look at that, I'm not kidding, minus 0 0.05. And look at this. You see the gap between here and here is now more like equal. And the gap between here and here is not. Because this is the original one. This is one that we just uh, uh, down, uh, down it a bit. So do again here. Elevate minus 0 0.05. And let's see what other we can go a bit down. Let's put this one a bit down. Uh, elevate minus 0 0.05. It's too much, I think. So four. Those are small changes that will make the the overall design of yours amazing. Uh, 0 0.0. What was it? Four, three, four. Yeah, four. You see? And let's go with this one. Elevate minus 0 0.5 I think will be okay perfect and this one elevate minus 0 0.05 just just like the first one and this one is on the upper area as you can see it's, it's a small um it's a bit over the top here so let's try to make it uh, elevate 0 0.0.4 is it perfect it is Look at this. This is the original of the game. This is what you created right now. Is that beautiful or what? Let me know in the comment section down below if you learned something new. But don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you how to create a white one. We don't have white planks, but we have something else that we can use to create it. It's even much easier than this one. Okay, so let's jump into the third one and the last one. So to start off with the third one, which are white ones, uh, we don't even need this one, we don't need to start like this one, and you don't even need to place them one on top of each other all the way up. You can use this one for an example, that is already, we have one, two, three, four that are due inside the, um, in the rounded walls, and we need only one, two, three white steps. And how we do that? We go to the build mode, go to and to the uh, this is the water objects and if you have the spa uh, expansion pack you can use the food illumination system and use them one two three because we need three of them only the first one we're gonna upscale one two three um, the first one is gonna be a bit bigger it's gonna be four time bring it up uh, bring it closer to the uh, to the step go up one two until it covers the first step place it perfect take the second one we go one two three okay the first one was four and again it's really depending on the number of steps you have so uh you need to try it in your game and uh, let's place it like this and as you can see it's not covering really the step but we uh, can actually have a solution for that so let me uh, fix it in a, in a sec. One, two, three. Uh, three, and let's bring it up until it will cover. I'm trying to find the exact uh, wide wideness. Is that is that a word? Wideness for the step, so it will not be a big chunk, uh, and it will be almost exactly the same as the first steps over here. 
and now let's just fix this one using the tool mod elevate and again remember minus 0, 0.0 something don't go with minus 1 or minus 2 um, minus 0.3 and it can go even lower to elevate minus minus 0, 0.02 and this is perfect and look at this we've just created a white version of the one that we created uh, earlier in the previous uh, tutorials and just to show you this is working let's bring it over here and go up Timmy there we go is that a game changing or what Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you're gonna enjoy this amazing discovery. Do not go anywhere before checking one of my other videos right now on the screen. Leave a like, leave a comment of what you think about this. Is this a game changing in terms of building or what? Until the next time, keep that scene party going for me. Love you all and until the next time, RG out.